Uh, mediation is um, with or without attorneys. Normally what happens is they have an, an initial meeting with people. And at that time they gather general information and what are they going to do. And then most mediators say, okay, the next mediation that we're going to have, we're going to talk about, for example, and this is um, not in hard and cast, cast, we're going to talk about cash flow. And so the parties are going to bring it together, their income information, their budget, and then they're going to talk about child support, spousal maintenance, and those kinds of things and get that sort of hammered down. Then the next time they may talk about custody, parenting time, um, what are they going to do about that? See if they can hammer that down. Then they may talk about property and look at that and whether they need to bring in neutrals. But they sort of break it down so that you can focus on that. If the attorneys are not involved, what I advise my clients is to say, if you're talking about cash flow, let's talk about that. What are the parameters of the law? So that they go in and say, okay, I've got a spousal maintenance claim. Here's what I think the law may do. So they can go in and be informed and not just guess as to what and fall into something that they may not be reasonable. So that's how I approach mediation if I'm not there, but oftentimes the attorneys are there. At the end of mediation, then the mediator puts together, here's what the agreement is, and then it goes to the attorneys to draft and send off to the court.